In this video, I'd like to explain the pinky break. And essentially what the pinky break does is it allows you to hold a position within the deck so that you can access it later to control a card or something else. So, what the pinky break is, is a division in the deck, generally near the back, that the pinky uh, creates. And essentially what you do is you put a little bit of your flesh from your pinky inside of that gap in the deck. And then from the front, it shouldn't be very much visible. So, there are a few ways to get a pinky break, and originally when you practice, you might have to insert your entire pinky in to get a feel of what that's like, but later with practice, you can just make it so that more of your pinky's showing on the outside. And first I'll just discuss the, I guess the most common way to get a pinky break, which is you have a division in the deck, maybe a spectator chose a card or something, they memorized it, they replaced it, now you're putting the deck on top. And as you do that, you know, you pull your pinky in a little bit, catch that card, and then you just get that uh, break right where they uh, put their card. So that's one way to get a pinky break. Another way to get a pinky break would be uh, maybe you need a break under the top card. And for this, this usually comes with misdirection, but what you would do is you use your thumb to push the top card to the right, and you have some space here. And then as you bring it back in, you're going to pull with your thumb this way, you push that pinky up into that hole, causing the card to lift up away from the deck. And then you have a pinky break under the top card. So, just quickly, looks like that. Now, if you just do that in front of the audience, they may or may not call you out on it, but generally the misdirection is what that is for, is so that they don't see it. You can also kind of turn your hand down and then do it, and it's a little bit uh, more hidden, which works as well. And that's just one way to get a pinky break under the uh, top card. You can also do like a pinky count and just kind of pull down that bottom card and then hold it there, count maybe two cards. Um, it's less common for sure, but it's certainly helpful. Uh, another way you can get a pinky break is maybe you have a deck split up and you want to get a break uh, below this card, for example. So this is the three spades. What you do is, as you bring the upper half of the deck in, you just in-jog that card there, just like that. So, what an in-jog is, just quickly, is as you come down, you make contact with your uh, non-deckhand thumb on that card on the deckhand, and then you pull it backwards as if you were just placing it on top. So, from the front, you know, they see this, but in the back, now I have an in-jog. And then, once you have the in-jog, you can just use this thumb here, push it down on that card, and then push it in. And then what that will do is give you a thumb break on the back, and then you can just insert your pinky into that hole, and now you have a pinky break. So, from the front, that might look like something like this. And then you're good to go. You have your break. Uh, another way to get a pinky break might be, uh, let me think, say you have a card here, and you have a fan over here, then you close the deck. As you bring the fan over, you just kind of close that pinky over top of the deck, just like that. You hold the position and then you can just move the pinky out. And then you have your uh, pinky break. So that's the pinky break. Good luck. It'll take a little bit of practice, but it's probably one of the most helpful moves you'll ever learn.